God is here. We are Lighthouse. God is here. Praise the Lord. Before Pastor comes, I just want to make two short announcements to remind us that our men's prayer breakfast is coming up at the end of this month on the 27th. And the theme is faithfulness. It starts at 9.30 and tickets are a donation of $20. Uh, we will be collecting donations at the back. And those of you who usually contribute what you do regularly every year, please let Sister Collett know if you'll be doing the same thing. And the Sunday after prayer breakfast is going to be our Men's Health Awareness Day with a focus on prostate cancer. So if you know of any men in your life, we would like you to invite them to come out and hear Dr. Kevin Blumenthal. He was here with us last year. And this year our theme is saving our men. We don't just want them to be saved spiritually, but physically as well. We want the whole man to be saved. And um, for this week's I Serve, which is week six, I would like you to really put your hands together for yourselves. You've done an excellent job. And um, we are at $12,524.61. And we have entered week seven. And we're thanking you that we can surpass our goal by October the 5th. We're encouraging you not to stop because whatever extra comes in will not be wasted because we have to find materials and do the build out and other things so that money will go towards it. All of this that we're raising is for the renovation, actually repurposing of the property to make it our church. And so if you look at the trend we've been doing well, we've had a couple of weeks we had a big spike, but we have been maintaining a thousand dollars and more, actually above $1,200. And last week was 1571 and we're thanking God that this week we will do even better so if you at any point in the service for the team leaders have any money please feel free to drop it to the desk and I'll record them and um, we really just want you to be encouraged to continue giving the biggest picture or the bigger picture is not so much the competition but that we want to surpass our goal and be able to be comfortable in our new sanctuary. So I just really thank you and appreciate all that you have done. Um, before Pastor comes and speaks, I'm going to sing this morning a song that I, my family basically had requested of me to sing. For, <laughs> Phoebe said forever. The last time I sang this song, uh, excuse me. It's been a fight all morning. I just suddenly feel nervous. So strange, you know? But I thank God that in spite of all that the enemy tries and does, we will never let go of his hand. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. The enemy might rise up in front of us, around us, behind us, on top of us. But the Lord said the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against them. And he will send them running in several different directions. I look at my father in particular this week and I think, God, how could you let this be, you know? Being the firstborn child sometimes is difficult. And each of us have gone through our own struggles and are going through like you do in your family. But today I stand as a testimony, even while going through, that I'm not gonna give up. We Lighthouse are not gonna give up. You see what the devil meant for evil, God, Jehovah, is gonna turn it around my soul why are you so downcast put your hope in God because the Lord is the keeper of them who seek him with all of their hearts I was reading this morning my devotion and this scripture in Mark 11 22 to 23 says 
Have faith in God, Jesus answered. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt. Brethren, it's a lot of doubt sometimes. The faith is like a mustard seed. I'm not gonna lie, I confess that sometimes my faith is at my foot bottom, but it's never gone. The Lord said, you trust in me and you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what God says will happen, it will be done for us. He who began, Philippians 1, 6, this good work in us is more than able, more than capable, more than faithful, more than loyal, is just to complete it. And so today I tell the devil that no matter what they say or do, I'm still holding on. Amen. said I would make it they said we wouldn't be here today they said we wouldn't amount to anything but I'm glad to say that I'm on my way I'm growing more and more each day There were many who started out with me and now they've gone astray but I'm still holding on I'm still holding on you today. Oh, I magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You see, when I was young, I gave God my hand, and I told him, Lord, lead the way. And the road has been tough and the going is mighty rough still i ain't going nowhere i'm here to stay yeah 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 no i've been talked about and no i've been criticized persecuted rejected abandoned wiped many tears from my eyes I'm still, I'm still holding on. Yes, Lord, I'm still, I'm still holding on. My God, we are still holding on to his hands. Should the trials and tribulations For my Savior's holy plan, though the trials with
the faithful hand of Jesus, the saving hand of Jesus. I'm still holding on.